I used to describe the Australian urban system as a bit like a comet. At the front of the comet is two great boulders, rocks, Sydney and Melbourne. And then you've got all these sort of smaller ones tucked in behind and right out the back, these tiny little towns, you know, like uh, Victor Harbour and Taree that are really substantially dominated by the retirement uh, sector and so forth. Um, I still think that, that that explains the Australian urban system, that it sort of filters from these two key capital cities and into others uh, through, throughout. So I think that will continue. The, the big question of this whole movement to the regions that's been triggered by the, uh, by the pandemic um, some people said, oh, they'll be back, you know, but I'm not convinced of that because it goes to my fundamental logic that does this deliver a better quality of life and a better lifestyle to the Australian people? Absolutely. Do you think that a millennial, uh, you know, people in their mid to late 30s will be happy to live in Cranbourne or in Penrith or in Caboolture or in uh, Mandurah? Uh, in the West, uh, I have to go through all the cities now, <laughs> or no longer in Adelaide, <laughs> and then commute an hour into work to the city and then back out again to do that five days a week for a 30-year career? Or do you think the millennials will say, I ain't doing that. There is a better logic. There is a better way. I'll do it two days a week. And um, by the way, I actually want to live in um, Castle, Maine, or in Bowral or in Mullaney. I think the millennial generation will say there is a better model. It's been triggered and proven workable by the pandemic. And that is why I say this is not just a, um, an aberration to be recovered from. It's a trajectory shift. It's like we've been through stormy seas. We battened down the hatches. We're coming to calmer seas now. We opened up the hatches and the ship is still going, but it's pointing in a different direction. And that different direction is um, greater valuing of these regional, within close, sort of Goldilocks zones, towns within maybe 150k of Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Perth in, in particular. And so I think that that, that will continue uh, into, the, uh, into the 2020s. A clear shift in direction. Mm-hmm.